Well, Monsieur Madison, let us speak upon the subject of radicalism, of this great change and what it will take to achieve this change. We think of the origins of the word, of radix, of radical. Uh, it, of course, is the root, the foundation, the base where it all should begin. And I would say that when these radical ideas are brought about, they are for extreme change. But the violence that shall occur, what shall be done to achieve these change, how much is enough? Is too much violence, uh, if used, uh, allowed or agreeable to a society uh, to achieve your goals for the benefit of the people? That is a question. Monsieur, we sit at a, a most curious circumstance in the realms of history. We are children of two societies founded upon just that radicalism, endeavoring to create new orders for the ages, bound in ideas. Not Indeed, in it is the essence of revolution that uh, radical ideas must be brought about to bring about this change. And so this is the inherent question. Is it then ingrained within the spirits of these societies, these spirits derived from liberty, that there should ever be a jealousy, a radicalism in those ideas, a great engine for the promotion of, of change, of progress. Would a people then, bound by that notion and spirit, ever excite horror and, when necessary, when something is contrary to ideas they deem fit, be willing to move to that appeal to the sword? Well, I think it is perhaps a, a necessary evil in certain circumstances, but you would hope on the whole it would be much more altruistic for the good of the people, that if violence is used, it is for a necessary means to achieve your goal for the benefit of the people and for the good of humanity, for these rights and freedoms. For example, my dear friend, you look at my revolution and some of the excesses that have taken place. In the beginnings, it was uh, perhaps not like the glorious revolution of 1688. <laughs> I'm a bit embarrassed to speak of the English Revolution there, but it brought about great change and little loss of life. And that, in essence, from 1789 to 1791 is what was achieved. But it would be human nature, perhaps excess, or uh, an individual's will to gain something more than his neighbor does not have, that brought about these radical ideas for a changing of society that was not necessarily for the benefit of all of the people involved. So let us espouse then. Perhaps it is the mutual duty of a free society to encourage ever a radicalism of ideas and to protect a society from all accounts from a radicalism of violence. Society cannot be protected at all times from a radicalism of, uh, without violence. Um, that is a utopian society. You and I, and I would think most people, would want to be part of such a society. But the reality is that society does not exist. So the question would be, how far are we willing to go to bring about those changes, these radical ideas? Is violence justified at all times? <laughs> <laughs>